I just wanted to show you guys what an amazing environment it is here. We feel so blessed to be working in such a space. Um, so I'm standing in the persimmon garden and you can see the greenhouse which is full of crops going to seed right now. Tomatoes, the coriander's just come out, uh, cauliflowers, loads of lettuces and the persimmon garden here which is also full of crops going to seed. You can see carrots, celery, corn in the background, um, uh, younger onions bulbing up and flowers and this amazing apple tree in the corner here which is the cider apple and then you can see through the fence into the compost garden so I'm just going to go through there the entrance to the compost garden is incredible so we've got a Whakapirao gold plum which is absolutely laden they're just starting to ripen in the background is a poto peach which is so laden the branches are falling down uh, Big Dan's early plum which has had its first crop this year they have very big trees so I come around here through the gateway and into the compost garden which is amazing at the moment I think you could see from Michelle's picture earlier and I just couldn't resist doing a video so here we are the whole garden's full of bean crops for seed with a few lupins in the background for compost climbing beans in the background and we'll go around behind those and we'll see tomatoes and the nursery actually behind the lupins are, is the potato patch as well you can't even see it from here Look at these Whakapira gold plums, they're amazing. This is a tree that we found, I was gifted this tree by an old guy who was living on the beach at Whakapiro and he'd been there for a very long time and he was in an incredible garden that even had plantain bananas, it's all gone now. The potato, tomato, Some, most of our tomatoes are in the greenhouse but we've also got a lot out here. And then we've got another entranceway with beautiful trees around it. It's a tamaki special, they're finished now. And our basket willows that we're using for weaving and for rhyming or wood chip. Into the nursery. which also looks amazing. Actually, mostly what we can see right now is buckwheat. What's the buckwheat for, Ben? Can you talk it close to this? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, this area of the nursery is looking a bit hungry. Um, so we've put it to rest this year. Um, and just cover cropping it. So the buckwheat's a really quick cover crop, uh, basically from planting seed to um, to um, tilling it in is about a month. Um, so this is almost at the stage um, to till it in. Just starting to flower now. Is that only a month old? Yeah. Far so out. I planted that just um, just before Christmas. Wow. Day before Christmas. It's pretty amazing, doesn't it? <laughs> but actually, this is a nursery, <laughs> and so. Um, and look at the comfrey too, there's comfrey around all the edges which stops weeds, it's good for weed control plus we harvest it regularly to use in compost. And here we have the nursery, baby grapes, mariana rootstocks, hazelnuts, chestnuts, peaches, everything. Wow, it's fungi on these. Pattern? It's fungi on these, uh, on these chestnuts. You can see it. Uh, the peaches. Yep, 
it's all looking pretty amazing, the whole thing, and it's a real blessing being able to have this space to work in and right around the outside of the nursery and the seed gardens is our forest garden which is getting pretty impressive big trees on the skyline all around us now yep and it surrounds the whole garden <laughs> 